Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome back. So, good news is my schedule is back. Like, it's back on track today, so this video is probably going to be on time. Uh, I'm just going to be uploading as usual, just doing random videos and all that stuff. And I actually have a few things I wanted to accomplish today. Uh, first thing is, I think number one thing is I need to farm a shit ton of square gems, like not just a few, like a shit, literally a shit ton. Um, for, for the pat, for the next week or so, before the actual armor break um, change, like hits, because of the way B8 works. Like I haven't been paying a lot of attention when I'm farming B8. And I've only noticed recently, like, sometimes my Dark Sea Star comes very, very close to dying. Because um, they, the, the units in B8, they have armor break. And it's just really, really annoying. Um, but I think after a week of farming, I definitely should have a lot better gems. And I don't think exactly... Like, I think after the, the change, um, defense aggressors for PvE is going to be definitely a lot weaker than it is right now. So I'm probably going to switch over to more of a nuker comp. Um, definitely, I think it's probably about time I raise this guy. It's like, I think I have the, the gems to make him work now. And I do have a bit of, uh, yeah, I actually, I think I have enough highs. Like, if I do fusion, I have enough highs to make him six stars. If I wanted to do that, I think I could probably do it within the next few days. Um, but I think for now, I definitely just want to spend a little bit more time farming the square gems, because might not be able to do it so easily after the change. Um, right now it's really really stable, like my team is fast and it's stable, so I definitely want to want to use use this opportunity to get as many um, square gems as possible. And next thing, the next thing I want to work on is probably work on a, a nuke comp. Um, I, I noticed that there's actually a way for me to farm B10 and me for me to farm it pretty fast. It's not going to be 100% stable, but it's going to be very, very fast. So I can kind of make up for the, the time for for the times it like it might fail. Um, but I have the, the bad thing is I have to like actively be here watching it farm. But I don't think that's too bad if I'm like really, really serious about progress and stuff. Um, and I'm not too limited. Like the only limiting factor for me um, as a pay-to-play player is is time. Like, I'm not too limited by Astro Gems, as long as I don't use my Astro Gems for those 11 plus summons, um, I will have enough Astro Gems to, to basically keep farming forever. Um, so the only limiting factor for me is time. I basically, if I can if I can farm as much as possible, then, you know, that's definitely really, really good for me. Um, so, what I was thinking is, I, maybe I run a comp that is basically just going to be all nukers. I was thinking of raising like the Fire Leo, or um, and also the the uh, the Dark Gatito. Just basically like you know units that have the Hunter passive for the crit damage. Because I think after after I farm for a little while, I should be able to make a full set that, that can um, you know that can really use the the crit damage to my advantage. So I actually wanted to just do, you know, maybe show you guys some tests. I, I use my f like friends' units to test a lot, of, a lot of the times. Um, basically, run something like this. I don't think w the Wild Fang is even good for B10. I honestly think that I might need to just like I need heavier nukes. Like I, I don't need more sustain. I need to kill them before they kill me. And if they, if it happens to be like four Moonflowers or some shit like that, then it's just really bad RNG, and I'll. I'll give up, alright? I, I can't I can't survive that anyways. Um, but if I if I can get a comp that can farm it fast enough, like like for example if I put in something like the the Dark Persephone or something like that, and then I, I run like my Fire Arthur. Obviously he's not really good for B10 either. I I maybe I need something that like hits a lot harder. Um, I was thinking him. Probably him. Like the Fire Leo is also really, really good. Like Fire Leo has a uh, has a double double hunter passive as well. There's also the wood wood um wood Anu. He also has a double hunter. But I, I actually have enough Leos to make this Leo a um, an evil two. If I really wanted to, I can also make him like if I if I save the Leos, I can make him evil three after a few weeks. If I like lean the other Leos up, I'm not sure if that's a really good idea. He's definitely a really good monster. I think like his his double double hunter passive is really OP. Um, 
Yeah, I think, like, I'll, originally I was thinking of running, like, a another aggressor comp. Um, I think HP aggressors might be a little bit better now, now that the, the, the armor break is really bad um, against defense aggressors. So, I think after a week or so, you're gonna see... You might see... You might still see a lot of, like, you know, Light Nike and Seastar in the arena, um, but they're not gonna be as strong for, for farming B10. And I think a lot of people that are farming B10 with the Light Nike as their only tank, um... I'm not sure if they can. They're able to do it after the change. Actually, wait, wait, no. B10 has no has no armor break. The 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 Moonflowers don't actually have any armor break. So I guess if you're farming it with like a, a light Nike and a water Persephone, then then it should be fine. Um, yeah, let's 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 do let's let's just uh, show show another run. Just kind of kind of what really happens. Like if I if I can build another unit like a, with a hunter passive. Um, you know, similar to, I think she has a stalker passive, she doesn't have the hunter passive, but she has like 30% extra crit, so you can just build lots of crit damage on her, and she's dark anyways, so it's like really, really easy to, to, to abuse that. Uh, but I'm, I'm thinking of using, using Fire Leo and, uh, and Dark Gatito for, for just a shit ton of damage. Like, the trick, I think, is to kill them before they kill me. Like, obviously, they're gonna hit me a few times, but, like, you know, after the second turn, I think this is not even enough damage. Like, my Arthur doesn't do enough damage. But, like, after this turn, something should die, you know? And if they don't, then it's, it's my problem. Um, so I, I don't think the Sea Star is exactly gonna be that good anymore because of the, you know, the armor change. But I'm not sure how strong I would be if I ran, like, three Nukers plus the Star Cupid. I was thinking of running three Nukers and also making this Dark Cupid, since he's an HP aggressor, build him like uh, HP crit rate HP or some shit like that. Alright, this is actually really bad. Like, this is okay RNG for me to have the shield up, but if I didn't have the shield up, there's a very, very high chance that my, that this, um, you know, one of my Nukers is gonna die. But I guess for now I'm just aiming for time um, instead of stability. I'm basically aiming to to farm as quick as possible. Um, this way I can catch up and you know do do drag start doing dragons and all that stuff. Yeah, I definitely need really really high resistance on my cupid as well. Maybe his original set was better. I think this recovery set definitely isn't isn't as good as. Um, the high resistance set from when I when I had him with like really high resist. The high resistance also helps him in PvP as well, so probably need to change his gems back. But right now I'm not like looking to, to farm B10. I'm just gonna chill in B8 for a while, get those square gems. Um I can I can probably like if I build up my, my Fire Leo. I could probably build him in very, very similar to to the way this uh, this Stark Persephone performs. I think if I can get him to Evo three, like if I commit enough and get him to Evo three, which will probably take actually it's probably going to take a few months if I if I just only use gleams. But you never know. I might be lucky and summon um summon some Leos. I don't know if I want to make that big of a commitment to to. To, to do that to get him to evil 3. Maybe I'll feed like two Leos to him and feed one Gleam. So I can save the save the Oh my god, what is this? They really should not have flat stats in the game. Like, it's just it's just so cancerous. Like having a six star gem that is a flat stat or belonging to one of the flat stat um like uh you know gem sets. It's just it, it's the most tilting thing, you know? Let's just pot these, like, I, I I don't even care anymore. Who even watches summoning videos anyways, anymore? Dude, I've been getting so many succubus. I think, I think the game's telling me to make my, make my, uh, make my succubus Evo 3. I don't know, I just wanted to do a few summons so I can, uh, so I can do rebirth. I still want that Dark Victoria, I still want it really, really badly. Oh nice, I got a variant. I think sometimes my luck is good. 
I think when I mass summon, my luck is really bad. When I don't mass summon, it, my luck is better. It's just the way this game works, I guess. Man, so many of these. Wait, are, are these fusion material? I can't remember. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Let me. Oh, wait, wait. Fusion was in there. Let me check the fusion first. I might want to save, like, whatever sirens and this thing I get. Yeah, nothing else is for fusion. Alright, that's that's pretty much all I need to save. Probably should save any future water cocos, just in case I can, uh... You know, I wanna I wanna make a, a new, um... Hmm, this is rather difficult. I guess I don't need any more mijos. One. Please, no cancer. Oh, nice. Yes. Oh, so good. I fucking love my life. Do you guys love love? Don't you guys just fucking love life? I like. I love my life. I I like it so much. Holy shit. I'm I'm in like. I started this day with such a good mood. I went out. I went jogging and all that shit. I got my schedule back. Like my sleep schedule is like everything's perfect. You know. And then I come, I make a video today, and I do some random summonings, get my Dark Victoria, and one rebirth, you know? But maybe she can have a square gem as well, but I don't think she really needs it. I'm probably going to build her full tank if I use her for arena. And, and she does have a square, so that's, that's pretty nice. Oh, she's also dark too. Yeah, dark types definitely need a square gem. Maybe not stack crit damage, because, you know, she's... Not gonna be that tanky, but holy shit, life is so good. Oh wait, I have a few more. I have a few more I can pop from from the arena. See if I can get another lightning. Or uh, where is where's the arena? I rarely get lightnings from these. I think I've only gotten like lightning once from the arena eggs. Did I accidentally click the variant? That would have sucked. But I guess it didn't, doesn't matter because every like maybe every three weeks or so I can do one variant egg. Oh. Oh, nice! Another Cura. That's that's really good. Curas are always always welcome. Have you guys ever gotten enough pieces to do like an actual summon? Because I haven't. I haven't actually gotten enough pieces. It's 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 pretty dumb. Like I've been playing for for uh, actually I, I haven't been playing that long compared to a lot of other people. Um, I guess I'll stop doing rebirth. I don't I don't really think I need to light Miho. She's not she's not all that unique. I mean taunt, attack down. Other monsters can do that. Um, yeah, like, I, I don't have enough pieces. I haven't collected enough pieces to summon anything. The closest I, ha I am is another Water Cura. Alright, let's, so let's review what I got. I think I got another an, a bonus um, Succubus and an another Cura. Yeah, Curas are always good because I, I definitely want to raise a Water one. I also want to raise my Dark one as well. I'm not sure if I want to raise the wood one. I don't think she's that useful, to be honest. Um, like, resilience, I'm not sure how good it is. Not a lot of people use this, obviously. It's not, like, the, the best thing ever. But I think I need I need the I need the siphoning set on, on the Cura to make her work, I think. Like, if I, if I combine this with the siphoning set, holy shit, she's going to be insane. Um... But yeah, that's that's basically it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this random uh, random vi video with with some bonus summons inside. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching and peace out.